Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, my name is PageJP and in this video I'm gonna be reacting to one infinite song, one different song, one 17 song and one B2B song as requested by this person. And since I'm pretty much done with uh, infinite music videos and because I currently have no more requests for 17 songs, I'm gonna have to replace those slots with something else. So if you want me to react maybe to some infinite b-sides or some 17 b-sides, comment them down below, I'm gonna check them out, but I do not promise that I'm gonna be reacting to every single song you request me for two reasons, because either it's gonna be way too many songs to react to, or some of the songs is just gonna be boring and I wouldn't be really able to comment anything about the songs or be able to pick apart what works and what doesn't work. Because specifically for songs which are not uh, the type that I listen to, it's kind of harder and sometimes it just uh, ends up being a boring song and when I'm bored I kind of don't have anything to pick up. But I'm still gonna try to react to every single one you request me to. And it doesn't have to be restricted to uh, you uh, requesting me to do Infinite or 17, any K-pop group, uh, music video or B-side, I'm ready to react to as long for the music videos I have not seen it. Or maybe if I have seen it a long time ago, I may react to it. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. I don't have anything else to say, so let's just get into the reaction. Starting with Infinite's last and most recent music video, Clock. So let's go in 3, 2, so let's go in 3, 2, one. One of you guys commented that this song uh, is a, a bit of a ballad. So hopefully I'm not uh, kind of bored. Because for the most part I don't like ballads and I know I reacted to a lot of b b songs. But for a lot of them, specifically the ballads, I really have not listen to them ever since. There are one or two that I have, but for the most part I haven't. And honestly my main problem with ballads is that they're kind of too slow. And if you remember that I am usually a huge fan of fast paced uh, bangers. You would really understand uh, why I'm not a huge fan of ballads. So when there are some more fast paced ballads like this one, it, it is genuinely a ballad, uh, then I do like them. But even then, it's not gonna be the bad as my favorite Infinite song. And I guess this also can be considered a power ballad. One of the good things going for this song is that it actually has a catch beat because a lot of ballads are just a melody without no uh, without any beat really. I like the guy fourth uh, fourth guy from left to right here. When he shows up again, I'm gonna point him out. I 
Damn, so many ringing sounds. This guy's hair, I like it a lot. He's the rapper. I also gotta point out that frequently in ballads, the rapping feels out of place. Not in this song. Okay, first impressions, I gotta say that I was pleasantly surprised that I actually liked the song. Like I was worried it's gonna be slow and boring and that does not make it bad and I'm gonna, I'm sorry I have to point it out but I just don't want people in the comments uh, hating on me. That Me saying that it's boring to me doesn't mean the song is bad. But yeah, I was worried that the song would be boring to me and that I would just be sitting here and considering that I'm kind of really tired, I was worried that even uh... And yeah, I was really worried that it was gonna be boring, but I was pleasantly surprised that it actually had uh, more going to it than a simple melody and singing. It actually had uh, a cool beat, pretty cool rapping. And it probably is and it is actually kind of good, but I do have to listen to it a second time to uh, to decide whether I love it or simply like. So let's just do that in three, two, one. I genuinely like the beat of it. He looks a bit like Jungkook. Wait, I swear I heard a bit of a female vocal in the background, very, very slightly infused with the singing of the guys. Am I imagining it? I 
that's a cool visual. I really like that. I don't know why listening to these kinds of phones ringing is so satisfying. Did you hear that? I swear that was a female vocal. I'm not crazy. Wow. I gotta say, this song has weirdly resonated with me. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I just want to listen to it more and more. But because I have to react to three more songs, I can't uh, do it one more time. It's gonna be unnecessary because I'm just gonna be watching the video and listening to the song and not really commenting. But I don't know, weirdly, I weirdly like it. Like, I'm surprised how much it has resonated with me, like once I'm done with the reaction I'm most likely gonna end up listening to it more, which is very rare for a ballad. And yeah, I, I just really liked it, which is why the, the rating for objective quality and personally is gonna be the same, uh, that being a 9 out of 10. My only complaint is that the chorus could have been uh, more stronger like it builds up but it doesn't go as much as it could it just cuts off and it goes down again if you get what I mean like it could have been uh, more powerful it could have went higher than it did but still 9 is pretty pretty good as a rating so yeah, I just liked it, surprisingly. Yeah, let's move on to the next song, that being G Friends Only One. And I'm gonna be reacting to, I believe, some kind of stage, because I just found uh, that it exists, so it's gonna be more interesting than just me looking at a lyric video, so that's why I decided to do that. Yeah. Let's just get into it in three, two, one. Ooh, that was a cool camera move. Damn, I like the choreography. I really like it already. Oh, that was a cool move. 
and the vocal thing they do where they say you you is really cool. Why does this song just not have a music video? I think it's worthy enough of one. This pretty easily could have been a title track. And it's so different from their other title tracks that people would have loved, it, at least some people. I really like it. And to think that I almost didn't react to this song. <laughs> usually, I gotta say, usually choreography for B-sides, for any group feels uh, rushed and unfinished and unpolished, but this one is pretty good. I really like the outfits. Is this becoming my favorite Jifan song? Damn. Yeah, I sympathize with the reaction of the fans watching them. I would have screamed like that too if I listened to this song live. Man, what a surprise. Like, as I said, I almost didn't react to it. I was uh, thinking about which song I would react to. And I was considering between these and the first uh, few requests that I got that were Love in the Air. I'm not sure whether I reacted to. Well, one of you guys requested me to react to a bunch of songs. Uh, including Love in the Air, but because of problems during the recording I ended up reacting to them but I didn't really like the songs and I complained too much so I didn't end up posting that reaction and I was wondering when I should go back and react to them or react to this one and I'm so glad that I went for this one because I fucking love this one it's arguably uh, it's definitely going in top 5 different songs and I know one of you guys also asked me about my top 5 uh, different songs which I commented and uh, replied to you. But yeah, it's probably changed with this one. And similar to Infinite Song, I'm gonna end up listening to it after the reaction too, it's just that good. Like, I'm su surprised, this is definitely the best B-side. And I know I keep saying this is the best B-side, this is the best B-side. But they just get beaten every time. At least for the Korean songs, which I believe this one is a Korean song, uh, it is definitely the best B-side. Yeah, let's listen to it one more time, just for fun, honestly. Not much else uh, that I can add, but I just want to listen to it one more time. So let's go in three, two, one. That's a cool camera move. Like I love that so much. Honestly, as I said, the choreography here is so good. Uh, the, man, the chorus is so catchy.
I really love even this. Oh, I love it so much. 10 out of 10, objectively and personally. That course is so satisfying. I mean, this might as well be a performance version of that song. And Dance Break by Shimbi. That's the only move that I can do. Damn. Well, what else can I add? I was so pleasantly surprised and I'm so glad that it's so good. Like, it is the best. It is the best G Friend B side. It just blows everything else out of the water. Even the ones that I like, like I believe Smile was one that I like. But this one is just memorable, catchy, fun, upbeat. I just love it. I want more like this. Like if there are any other G Friend songs like this one, I am 100% going to react to that. And as I said, uh, objectively and personally, it's a 10 out of 10. Even though it's probably not gonna be that much fair of a score, but I just love it. This time, I'm just gonna give it a 10 out of 10 on both. And yeah, let's move on to 17 song. Uh, that being Smile Flower. And person who requested me uh, to do this because I asked for some requests uh, said that this song is written by Woozy for the members or something and I did find a music video uh, but it's not really that interesting and I'm more interested to see and read the English uh, lyrics of this song which is why I'm not doing that music video but a lyric video instead. So yeah, let's go in 3, 2, 1. Man, I just love John Cut's voice, it's so unique and I love it. That's why the bias though. That's why I hit the bias. Oh, 
느낌 없이 난날 너에게 받기만 하는 것만 같아 그래서 눈물 나도록 고맙고 더 미안해 꽉 안아주고만 싶어도 왠지 모르는 불안함에 망설이는 건 뭔지 이러고 싶지 않은데 하늘이 높고 바람은 차고 바다가 넓고 Sorry I'm not okay I'm focusing on the lyrics 내 눈엔 너가 그저 당연하게 받아 빠질까봐 그게 불안해서 이러는 것만 같아 널 잃어버릴까봐 부디 넌 나같지 않기를 Oh no 함께라서 웃을 수 있고 너라서 울 수도 있어 그렇게라도 못할 게 어디 있어 There's something about 17 lyrics which I have already said several times but they're in a way weirdly written in a way that Somebody who can not really speak Korean can read to them and maybe sing along like There's something about them that just works that it's perfect And honestly only 17 have kind of been able to do that Sometimes older groups have at least parts of their songs that feel like that But 17 are the only one who have that for each and every single song of theirs And this one, despite being such a slow song, is weirdly catchy. I know I'm not uh, doing all-out reaction like being super happy or super sad, but that's also not what my channel is about. I'm just giving my genuine reaction and opinion. Yeah, I'm just gonna go uh, straight to listening to it again because I want to see how I properly feel before I say anything. So let's go in three, two, one. I'm surprised they were able to incorporate every single member in this song because there are a lot of them and this is a slow song and everything so It takes uh, longer for each em member to have at least a single line of uh, singing or rapping. This is so catchy, I don't know how to explain it, but it's so fucking catchy. This part here. Jeez, the vocals are so good.
Man, this is such a wholesome song. What's with today and being surprised by every single song? Hopefully, the last song I'm gonna be reacting to is not gonna break that streak, but like, today's songs are not what I expected them to be at all. Like, uh, Infinite Song, I was thought it was gonna be a ballad, but it was actually a really good ballad, if it is a ballad, genuinely. Um, different songs I was reluctant to react to because there were some somewhat boring songs that as I already explained but I was pleasantly surprised and it's my favorite besides now and 17 uh, before reacting to this I tr listened to a bit of it to see whether it's gonna be worthy of a reaction and I was kind of reluctant to uh, decide to react to this one too because Way too many of the songs I react to are slow songs. And it's just when I have to react to a lot of songs, it kind of gets boring. Not necessarily because the song is bad, it's just because I lose. Uh, I just stop focusing and my mind wanders off somewhere. But I'm pleasantly surprised that it, it was actually really good. Like, I don't have any complaint about the song, it's perfect, which is why I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 on both again, similar to Jifren's song. Like, I'm just so happy and pleasant that I was so pleasantly surprised by these three songs. It was so good, the vocals were good, uh, the whole vibe of the song is such a wholesome feeling, like, I love it. And again, even this one is gonna be a song that I'm gonna be listening to even once I'm done with this. Even though it's not the main type of music that I listen to. Okay, let's go to the last song of this video. The B2B song, Ambiguous, for Fight For My Way OST that is sung by Ong Kwang, Hyun Sik and Sung Jae from B2B. As I said in the opening of this video, um, I haven't reacted uh, to B2B in a while, like what, 2-3 weeks? And I still don't get why my B2B reactions are pretty much my most popular videos on the channel. Only beaten by, I believe, the Dreamcatcher Breaking Out reaction and the uh, Z-Boys and Z-Girls reaction. I still don't get what was so uh, interesting about those videos compared to my current ones that those got so much more views, I guess. It's just my target uh, demographic or the people who mostly uh, watch my videos are usually from Southeast Asia, at least from what my analytics say. And I guess those countries are more likely to listen to exactly the type of um, groups and music which not that I hate but I'm not the biggest fan of anyway 
let's just react to it and see how I'm gonna feel about it. So let's go in three, two, one. I really like that the song already has a flair to it, and because I assume it's uh, kind of a ballad, uh, I like that it's not completely slow, because that's specifically the kind of ballads which I'm not really a fan of, and the only uh, unique thing about those songs is the great vocals which uh, they usually have. Holy shit! So I'm not uh, speaking uh, during this reaction, but I'm focusing on the song. I'm gonna talk more after and during the second reaction. So I'm gonna mention. I gotta mention that I'm surprised that I miss uh, the vibe that B2B gives off. Like, I generally kind of have missed that vibe ever since I stopped reacting to them because I didn't really get uh, any requests and I think I pretty much reacted to any uh, good or worthwhile song. Or at least the ones who might at least appeal to me. But man, I genuinely miss that vibe that they give off in their music, even in this one. There's something about the music that the vibe of it, just the feel that it gives you, I really like. And I, surprisingly, I didn't realize how much I missed that. First impressions, I I like the playful vibe of it and everything. I read through some of the lyrics, and these kind of relationship songs are more interesting to me, at least lyric-wise. Uh, in a way, it's more similar to usually uh, the relationship song that American music usually does because for K-pop, I don't know, maybe it's just me not really paying attention to the lyrics that much to those songs, but there's something different about uh, Korean songs uh, that are about relationships. Like 
in a way, the uh, in K-pop, the lyrics are kind of abstract and ambiguous that you really don't even get that it's uh, about a relationship that much. While for this, it's completely uh, different, pretty much exactly the same like in American music way, where you know it's a relationship song and you can see it even in the lyrics clearly. But I really like that. It's a refreshing change. And yeah, something I didn't point out during the uh, reaction is the lead actress of that drama is kinda cute. And yeah, not much else to add, so let's listen to the song again and see how I'm gonna feel about it after the second list. So let's go in 3, 2, 1. And yeah, it does feel like an OST song. Maybe I should check out some Korean dramas. I have kind of been reluctant to get into K dramas because I already uh, am kind of into anime, but I barely watch anime. Because it's in a way so hard to get into. And I assume most of K dramas are simple relationship stuff, and I'm more of a fan of uh, unique and uh, different. You might not that might not be the case because uh, recently I heard from DK News about a certain drama that was the concept of which was actually pretty interesting. One of the other reasons why maybe I'm liking this song surprisingly a lot is that I really love uh, listening to songs and watching clips from shows that I like. Like, there is one show, The Walking Dead, which I really love, and there was uh, one song called One Day Too Late, and someone had made kind of a music video for that song where they were showing the, uh, all the moments of one of uh, one character that I that just died and I just it just made me love the song a lot and I guess that's why I kind of really like this one And of course, I'm really happy that it has the B2B vibe, which I cannot explain in any other way except calling it a B2B vibe. Like, to me, B2B sounds somewhat of a retro disco sound. And it has uh, this, even this song has the slight bit of it. And I really like that. But maybe I'm just basing that opinion on that uh, B2B song movie, which I've actually been listening to it a lot in the last uh, week or so. Okay, not much else to add to what I already said, so I'm just gonna go to the rating, and personally, 
I know this might be uh, bad, like, I know this is the last song and it kind of sucks to end on the worst song of the video, but it's still not that worse, like, it's pretty much on par with the rest, it's just the rating is gonna be somewhat lower. Like, personally, I think the song is a solid 8 out of 10. It's fun and playful for me, but it's not perfect. I can't really necessarily point out some of the flaws, but it's just, it's not perfect, is the best way I can put it. Like, it could have been better, it could have been slightly more fast paced, but I really like it still, and I really like the, what I believe is uh, acoustic guitar in the background, I really like that. Kind of reminds me of uh, the theme song of uh, someone of an old cartoon called Franklin. It was about a turtle. Maybe you know it, maybe you don't. But it just reminds me of the theme song of that. So I really like that. But still, uh, the objective score is gonna be higher at a 9 out of 10. Because. And it might be weird that objectively I always tend to rate the songs higher, but. That's just because I tend to take away the criticism I have for the song, and when I do, it just ends up being the higher score. But yeah, personally, 8 out of 10. Objectively, 9 out of 10. And I think that's pretty much it for this video, so hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe, check out the list in the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me there, and to my Wattpad, where I post my stories, because I'm also a writer. And if you do enjoy my stories, or you simply enjoy my videos, and also by the way, there are other kinds of videos on my channel, where you can check out, I do gaming videos, TV show reactions, maybe might be doing K-drama reactions if I find some interesting one that I really like. Um, I'm also doing something new I started because I'm a huge fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! and I started another series on my channel in which I play Yu-Gi-Oh! So the very, very unlikely chance that you are a fan of that, check it out. And if you do enjoy all these videos or you enjoy the stories, you can go over to Patreon and subscribe star, preferably subscribe star, and support me and support the channel and allow me to completely focus on creating content for you. And for both of us to have fun. But if you can't do that, I completely understand that. You can still help me out by liking this video, subscribing, and sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think that's pretty much it for this video, so see you in the next one. Bye!